Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. I am here doing the monthly zodiac sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All cross watchers, of course, are welcome. Uh, just remember, spirit knows who's watching. So guys, I'm doing things a little differently this month in order to, you know, the monthlies are usually hard on me, uh, mostly because of where I live and the upload time is extravagantly long. And because I'm doing these and then also the extendeds over on Patreon, um, which by the way, if this resonates with you and you're not already a member of Patreon, uh, you could click the link in the description box below and you're welcome to join our Patreon family. You will get all 12 Zodiacs um, extendeds and you can cross watch to your heart content for only $4 and 44 cents a month. Um, but I'm using my computer instead of the overhead camera. Cause when I use my phone to do the, the down view, um, it takes forever to upload. So I'm going to keep these shorter. We are going to get, um, uh, not just love and romance this month. Spirit wants me because it's the spring equinox. It's the astro astrological calendar reset, right? We're back to Aries, back to the beginning of the, the zodiac. And um, so I want to look at finances and career and love and relationships, um, family, whatever comes up. Excuse me. I do apologize. I got the hiccups. Whatever does come out, um, I will definitely channel for you. Uh, if you'd like, check out the description box. There's all kinds of goodies down there. There's, you know, links and links and links. Just read it. I know it's kind of lengthy, but there's a lot of good stuff down there. If you resonate with being a twin flame, uh, check out Patreon at the 1111 tier. Uh, we're doing a lot of work right now, inner healing work, shadow work. We're doing a 100-day journaling challenge. All kinds of cool stuff going on in the 1111 group, okay? And the best time to join is right now at the beginning of the month because they do bill your credit card once a month on the first. <clears throat> All right, we're going to get into your reading now. Thank you so much for being here, whether you're a returning viewer or a new viewer. I'm so grateful for you guys. Um, make sure you take a moment to hit that like button. It helps the algorithm to put our videos out there to get more exposure. And um, yeah, thank you for being here. I love you guys. If you're returning viewers, you know that you're my people. And, you know, a lot of us have become very, very close friends on this journey together, right? So Cancer, we're going to take a look at finances and career for the month of April. Um, we do have the death card with the justice card ooh, and the chariot there's cancer energy so it looks to me like uh in finances and career there could be some endings maybe um but actually what i'm hearing more predominantly we'll take a look at the energy and the cards uh but i'm what, I, what i'm hearing with this death card is more about transformation it's about a cycle ending in your finances and career creating energy of change that is going to move you forward and bring in a lot more abundance with the justice card. Whatever you've been putting out as far as energy is about to come in for you. Okay. So let's take a look and see what um, April has to say. I had to think for a minute about what month it is. Now we've got oracles up here and this um, using Colette Baron Reads enchanted map oracle cards and i will be reading from the book for that as your overall advice for the month so we'll get your energy out first oh so we have the emperor told you you're bossing up with the knight of cups Ooh, the three of cups are you sure spirit this isn't the romance one with the page of swords and then we have the moon with the magician. Again, I kind of feel like you're about to celebrate something that, you know, you've been manifesting something for a while now, and it's been in the shadows. It's been on the outskirts of your peripheral vision. You 
you kind of feel it, sense it, you've been manifesting it, hoping for it, and it's about to come in is what it feels like. Um, there was some classes you might have needed to take or some kind of lessons you had to learn when it comes to your finances and career, but you're definitely bossing up or um, it's funny. I'm just noticing this Knight of Cups and this death card. They're kind of looking very similar to me. I don't know why. But it feels to me like there could be an Aries of significance. Maybe your boss is going to give you a raise or offer you more money. But it does feel like there's something swiftly changing. And it is cause for celebration. It's definitely going to balance your finances out. Yeah, it does. Look, there's the wish card, the wheel of fortune. A lot of really good energy has been coming through for April. Guys, take advantage of it. I hope this is good for everybody, right? It is a collective reading. So take what resonates, leave what don't. Um, but finances look like something is about to shift. You're about to get some kind of an offer that's going to emotionally fulfill you. Could be from a boss. You could be getting a raise. Maybe you're becoming the boss. Um, for some of you, maybe you're graduating from school. We do have the student here, which is the Page of Swords. Um, with the Three of Cups, it's cause for celebration. And you worked for this. You manifested this, right? I don't think you I don't think you realize just how close you are to having whatever it is that you've been asking for. And I think that part of the reason why it's coming in for you is because you've cleared some energy, some space in your life. Didn't have to be in your job, it could be in relationships. Anytime you clear energy, Energy is like water. It seeks to fulfill the void or fill the void. So, you know, if you've had recent endings any place in your life and you've been working hard and manifesting and taking control of your life, something's shifting. And it is, there is an offer coming in. Now, this is the Knight of Cups, you know, so this is going to be emotionally fulfilling and it's funny, this is your your finances and career, and there isn't a single pedicle here except for what's sitting on the desk of this, or the table of this magician. My spirit guides just totally said, really, did you just call an altar a desk? <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, I kind of did. So on your altar is this pentacle. But it's there, you know, with all your other tools, too. I'm, I'm noticing the cup. So there could be maybe some blossoming romance at work, too. Or new friendships, right? Three of cups. You're showing up in your own energy here with the chariot, the justice card, the death card. Um, you're definitely ending some kind of a cycle that is is moving things. Maybe literally. You could literally be moving, ending a cycle. I'll look at all the oracles before I go too much further into this, but this is looking really good. Like I said, I'm not seeing a lot of pentacles. <laughs> Maybe spirit got things confused because down here in your love and romance, we have the queen of pentacles uh, with the ten of wands and the six of pentacles. So take what resonates. We're going to look at your love and romance, and then I'm going to get your oracles out before I go too much deeper into like the deeper meanings of these. So in love and romance, we have the page of wands. This is communication. This is a uh, youthful energy. It's adventurous, fun, spontaneous, uh, clarified by the five of swords. 
So it could be communication that, um, Hmm. Let me look at the rest here. Oh, we have the Ace of Cups with the High Priestess clarifying. And we have the Six of Wands with, ooh, the Strength card clarifying. Look at all the good energy. So for some of you guys, and I'm noticing, I have to notice, right? Because look, at you've got the, you've got Justice here and the Chariot. And it's I, I'm amazed at how everything always comes together. And I often say, so if you're new here, maybe you haven't heard me say it, but energetically, energy, okay? Vibration, energy, everything is energy. Manifestation is vibration and energy. We create external validation and proof for what we feel and believe internally, our emotions, our thoughts, our belief systems, right? And so I just want to show you the synchronicity here because we've got this death card with the justice card with the chariot, okay? Under here, we've got the queen of pentacles with the ten of wands, the six of pentacles, the seven of wands. And I don't know why I dug so deep, but I did because I was curious uh, what this five of swords was all about. I see the queen of swords with the chariot and justice and your energy, queen of cups. Like there's a whole story brewing under here, but I don't think you see this coming in. You feel it. You, intuitively, you feel it. But I was trying to get energy around this five of swords for the past energy, right? Because your current energy is in your manifesting new love, a new beginning. Um, and, you know, heavy Leo energy. But this is being proud of yourself for doing, you know, doing well. It took a lot of strength for you to get to where you could manifest this. And so what I'm seeing here in Love and Romance is the Queen of Swords with the Seven of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and yeah, it goes deeper than that, but I don't want to go that far. I just noticed that you've got judgment and the chariot twice. It feels to me like you've kind of maybe set a standard for somebody. I hate using the word ultimatum, but it feels to me like you've set a tone with somebody. Because you're just not accepting. Look at that Queen of Swords with the uh, Seven of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. You're just not accepting breadcrumbing anymore is what it feels like. You know, breadcrumbing and dangling carrots coming in, coming out um, was burdensome. And it left you feeling all the time like you were waiting for something to change. But you had to wait because, see, I'm seeing the temperance card here with justice. Something had to shift. Somebody needed to grow, learn. Something needed to shift. We'll, we'll clarify this if I need to after we do the um, oracles. But this past energy here is, you know, rather maybe your person, if you have one, maybe you don't. Maybe this is past energy. Maybe you're single now and you're manifesting new love with that uh, Ace of Cups, right? But whatever this past energy is with the, the Page of Wands and the Five of Swords, it was combative. It was hard. It was somebody had a big ego. And I feel like you kind of egoed up yourself. You were like, okay, well, you know, two can play at that game, right? <laughs> so I see success in your future with strength. So for some of you, this is strength to overcome this bad back, this bad behavior from the past that really just felt burdensome and 
left you feeling breadcrumbed, guarded. You you set, I feel like you set a precedence or a tone or drew a line in the sand. You said, no more. I'm not dealing with this anymore. And I'm seeing this person in the back that looks very sad. And I'm feeling like that could have been you. Like um, somebody might have said things or, or was harsh in the past with you. Or you could have had an argument or a fight with this person. Swords are about communication, right? And the five of swords is one upmanship. It's somebody who, you know, I'm going to win no matter what it takes, no matter what I need to say. It's manipulative. And breadcrumbing, gaslighting is manipulative, manipulative too. But what I see in your current energy is beautiful. I mean, this is like intuitive. Um, it's It could be self-love. It doesn't have to be love for another person. This could be loving yourself enough to kind of move forward, right? Maybe it took a lot of strength for you to overcome this past, this whatever this was. Um, but intuitively... It's like you kind of feel things are shifting, things are changing, things are moving forward. You can feel a win. See, this person didn't play fair. Now, if you're completely single, this could have been you healing from past relationships, right? Creating healing, karmic justice, moving forward having healthy boundaries, protecting your, your stance because you've leveled up, no longer accepting breadcrumbing. You've decided to put down your burdens, you know, an end of a cycle. We do see the death card here. And the queen of pentacles, you know, I'm leveling up. I'm taking control of my own life. So <clears throat> it feels to me like no matter what's going on, and I've seen this, gosh, I'm a number four already, four zodiacs in. And there's definitely a, a tone. People, a lot of you guys aren't taking any crap no more. None. You're like, I love myself far too much. And I'm trusting my intuition. I'm, I'm self-mastery. I'm glowing up, growing up. But there definitely was some hard energy in the past that broke your heart. I see it. So let's get your oracles out before I see if I need to, to uh, clarify anything. Because, I mean, it's a general reading. I am going to go into the deep dive over on Patreon to get real deep. But finances look to me like you're totally manifesting and, and you may not see it coming. you just been doing the work, right? You've been on your path, whether you could see your way forward or not. You've been learning new things. Maybe you went to college. Maybe you've taken some courses or classes. Um, this could be a graduation, especially when it's with the Page of Swords. This could be celebrating the finalization of some kind of a... a education. This could be a raise. This could be somebody. Um, this could be a boss that's that's uh, making some kind of an offer to you that you're really going to be emotionally fulfilled with. This could be you. You could be the emperor. You could be showing up as, you know, taking control in your own life pursuing what you love, seeing it through to the end. And 
it, it feels to me like you created space somehow energetically. And like I said, it doesn't have to be in finances. It could have been in your love life. You know, maybe you broke it off with some toxic ex or you're healing from past relationships and you cut out some drama, cleared out the friend list, right? Manifested some new better friends with that three of cups. No matter how you did this, I see big changes coming. I, I mean, you got the star card, the wheel of fortune, the star card. Look at, and there's that temperance card again. There's a, you know, I'll dig into this over in the extended because there's definitely, it looks like a fire sign. Doesn't have to be, but we do have heavy Leo energy here. Wheel of Fortune, the Star card, the Chariot, Justice, Death. Look at all the major arcanas on the bottom of your deck when it comes to leveling up in your in your business, your your life, your finances, your career. And I feel intuitively like it was because you experienced some sort of an energy clearing. You got rid of something. Maybe it was a belief system. Maybe it was a person. Maybe it was a job. But whatever it was, it really put you on a course of manifesting something really, really good that's going to be so emotionally fulfilling. But it didn't come without its lessons. But as soon as, you know, as soon as you, if you were to take a five-gallon bucket out into the middle of a lake or an ocean, and remove five gallons from the ocean, you'll never ever notice it because energy is just like water. When you clear an energy, new energy comes in and that's what I'm feeling for you with that chariot card. And with the alchemist, right? You've got the magician and the temperance card. That's good juju, guys. So yeah, finances look spot on. I don't see a bunch of pentacles. It feels like a transition to me. It feels like uh, something coming in, overcoming the unknown, manifesting. It's not quite here yet, but it's on its way. And with that judgment card, or I'm sorry, justice card, uh, it could very well be karmic justice, right? It could even be possibly legal matters. Whatever you did, it's working. <laughs> so let's take a look at your oracles and then we'll get into this a little deeper because um, I'm seeing here somebody who's just not taking any breadcrumbing anymore. It, it was too hard to, it was too big of a burden. Now, if this isn't your energy and this is a person other than use energy, um, They could be coming towards you and hoping, right? They could have went through a legal thing too. Whatever it is. I, I, I feel like this is you. I mean, because we've got it in both decks and the temperance card. You did healing. You did some kind of karmic clearing and you're, you're, moving forward with your life. And so if this is someone else's energy, they're afraid that you're closed off. You're not going to accept them anymore because maybe in the past they breadcrumbed you. Same story. It's just, you know, whether it's your energy or theirs, um, you're not taking it and they're afraid that you're not going to take it. <laughs> so let's take a look. Let's start here. Uh, stuck energy. Look at, and there's a guy sitting on a truck, stuck like Chuck, right? There's a rainbow over his head, though. And the storm is over, is what I'm hearing. The storm is over. So if there was somebody 
in your past or maybe even, you know, still currently in your energy that left you, either left you feeling stuck with this Queen of Pentacles and Ten of Wands, breadcrumbing, if they made you feel like you were stuck in a cycle and you couldn't get beyond it, then the storm is over and you're taking action. It's obvious you're taking action. You're moving forward. You know, maybe you called AAA. <laughs> now, if this is your person's energy, then, you know, maybe they've been stuck in some kind of a legal thing, divorce, ending another relationship with the Queen of Swords, if that's not you, divvying out, you know, because sometimes when there's a divorce, you got to do the divvying out, the Six of Pentacles, trying to protect what they've created. I'm pretty sure you know whatever this is already. So take what resonates. Let's take a look here. Ooh, we've got Envy. What's that all about? I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. It challenges. This is this could be self-love for some of you. This might not be new love. This could be you trusting your intuition, filling your life with all this good stuff, new friends, new job, new education. Maybe you don't have a job. Maybe that maybe that's why there's no pentacles there. Maybe you're going back to school. But you know, comparison is the thief of all joy. So if this is your energy, you know, clean it up because look at all the beautiful stuff coming in for you. And it does feel to me like you may feel it intuitively and you've been manifesting it, but I'm not sure that you see the success of it yet. You might be looking at other people and thinking, well, you know, why are they doing good? Why are, you know, maybe you've got, I mean, I can always use me for an example. You know, I've got a platform over here and I see other readers that are really banging popular. And I look at my account and I'm like, I'm grateful. You know, I'm almost at 4,000 viewers. But sometimes I get a little envious, wondering, you know, what's the magic pill? What are they doing that I'm not? So whatever you're doing, if you've been in stuck energy, feeling burdened, you know, um, I think what you don't understand is that whatever you have been doing, you're about to be rewarded for. Because you got justice, the chariot, temperance. It might have taken a while for you to build up whatever it is you're building up. And again, you may have needed to cut out some people or beliefs. Sometimes it's belief systems around your own, your own self-worth. Hmm. Let's look, look at these. We have let your friends help you. Yes, I see the three of cups. Friendships are going to be very beneficial for you in the month of April. Okay. Especially in romance, you could literally get fixed up on a blind date. It looks like this woman. Now that could be a marriage gown or wedding gown, but it could also be because it's back in the old times. It could also be somebody getting all dolled up and ready for a date, right? Maybe your friends are going to help you get all fancy schmancied up in order to create something new or someone new. Obstacles, unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. Movement. That's the stuck energy. And I don't know if this is your energy or if you have a person, it could be your person's energy. 
but there's definitely a need here to do some shadow work. And the moon for me with the magician is shadow work. That's, you know, you can manifest good or bad depending on what you're focused on. So, it, you know, maybe you were focused on the negativity because of this past energy. And now you're focusing more on self-love and trusting your instincts, trusting yourself, you know, self-mastery. And because of that, you've learned some lessons. You've made some new connections, some new friendships. And um, you're getting out of this stuck energy. And if this is your person, then your person is definitely getting out of stuck energy. Balancing their life out. Dropping the burdens. There is a death card and there's the ten of wands. Next we have, ooh, secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Well, I'm really curious. I want to like start digging this apart. Ugh. I'm going to get you some clarity though. You know, these are general messages. Let's take a look at your enchanted map. So we have goblins, number five. I do, you got five here. You got five here. You've got stuck energy. You've got obstacles. You've got envy. There's so many different ways that I can read this. So let's read from the book. Um, God, I don't... Did I turn this upright? Was this in the reverse? I don't remember, and I'm not going to rewind the video, so I'll read both. I'll read the upright and the reverse. You guys take whatever resonates, because I was so busy trying to piece together your energies that I didn't know whether that was in reverse or upright. Um, obviously, you will, <laughs> but I don't want to stop the video and piece it back together. So we have fear is an illusion. Choose love today. Forgive yourself and others. In the upright, goblins are born when you're wounded and something essential is lost in that experience. From that point on, as you forget your wholeness, they remain with you in the shadows. Yeah. There they remind you of what brought them into being by mimicking your own voice, tricking you into believing that you're unworthy, victimized, or unlovable. They hold you hostage through low self-worth, self-sabotage, and the feeling that you're lacking what you need. If goblins pay you a visit, know that they represent the shadow of your own self or someone else's and that they're leading you into a potentially reactive situation. A goblin's card appearance is an opportunity for growth. However, it's a signal that you must love yourself. I see you doing that. No human is without flaws. The goblin's message is that you must re release resentments and negative self-talk. Within you is the spark of the divine. Ask spirit to help heal you. Miracles can and do happen. Let go of the negativity. And I honestly see a miracle coming for you. I mean, all the major arcanas is just amazing. But there does seem to be a past energy here that is your goblin. And it might have even affected you in your finances because that happens a lot. What we believe internally, we experience externally. So, you know, if if making ends meet or, or living an abundant, enriched life has been something you dream of but not something you've experienced... It could very well be because of this belief system around something that happened in your past, possibly with a father figure or an ex-lover or an ex-boss. 
whatever it was, justice is here. Boom, boom. Both, both areas of your life. Forward movement, justice, no more breadcrumbing, no more conflict. We're overcoming the conflicts. So in the reverse, because I don't remember if that was in the reverse, it's often difficult to deal with someone else's issues because they impact your own. No one is perfect, but in this case, you're particularly vulnerable to being manipulated. And with the magician, you know, manipulation could be a thing. Oh, you know, only take it if it resonates. Because the five of swords can be manipulation. Well, it is manipulation. Don't take this world personally. When the goblin's card arrives reversed, it's a sign to step back with detachment. Don't let other people's stuff lead you into reacting from an old wound. Love yourself unconditionally. Set boundaries and your goblins will fall asleep. Love is always the only answer. And with that queen of swords, I do think that you are setting boundaries. So I want to take a look before I take this over. So you have a secret admirer. Um, it may not be secret because you are very intuitive. You are the queen of cups, right? You are cancer. Um, and you showed up in both areas under the deck. So you, you have an admirer. Maybe it's secret. Maybe it's not. Um, but I believe that you are either manifesting this secret admirer or, or you intuitively know they're there. You feel them in your energy. It could be a Leo. Doesn't have to be. It really, really, really feels to me Like you've been growing, overcoming obstacles, getting out of stuck energy. This looks like stuck energy. You know, she's supposed to be happy. She's abundant. She's fulfilled. She, She's like the, the mama, right? And does this woman look happy to you? No, she looks like she's longing for something. Something that means a lot more to her. It feels to me like you couldn't own your abundance. You couldn't receive abundance, whether it was money or love or whatever, because you didn't see your value. You didn't know your worth. You didn't have the self-love that was necessary. But that's old energy. It's old news. That's, that's you know, the storm is over. And so you're absolutely manifesting either new love or because of your self-love. Now somebody, if, if there's somebody from the past, which there could be, I hate doing past energies, but if that's what it is, it's what it is. And if it is, you know that already. Whatever it is, you're successfully overcoming it. This is self-mastery. This is being recognized for your achievements. This is being put on a pedestal for overcoming obstacles. And there could be somebody that's envying you, right? Maybe they're seeing you overcoming all these obstacles and manifesting self-love and, you know, bettering yourself, going back to school or dating again or reinventing your life, moving forward, not staying stuck, but literally moving forward. So let's just get some advice. Tell me what's going on here, spirit and finances and career. What's going on for cancer in finances and career? What's going on finances and career for cancer? Okay, we've, oh, look at that. Bada bing. I told you, energetically, I feel like everybody who has done inner work, shadow work, because it's really coming out in all these readings so far. Now, I've only done four, okay? But there's a lot of repeat energy in these, these 
readings. And so everybody, you know, kind of refresh. I'm hearing a refresh, like you're refreshing things. You're, you're feeling better. You're feeling stronger. You're feeling more in tune. You're, you're trying, you're doing things, you're creating change, you're moving forward. And when you do that, energetically, the universe is there to support you. When you pursue your heart's desire, the universe will move heaven and earth to help you find it. And I don't know why, but I'm getting with this combination that something you're, you've been working on manifesting something. And what you don't know is that it's right there. Right there. But you can't see it. You feel it. Tell me about love and romance for cancer. Ooh. All that glitters. Hmm. It's number seven. Tell me more about love and romance for cancer in the month. Fork in the road. Love and romance, please. Oh, and flexible. Bottom of the deck, no place like home. You know, cancers love that shell, don't they? No place like home. We are the homebodies, the mothers, the, you know, our, our stability and security and family and home life is very important. So all that glitters tells me that, you know, possibly, just possibly in the past, you, you faced a lot, you met a lot of obstacles in love. People who you thought were something they weren't. They didn't reveal their two, true selves to you until after you were like kind of hook, line, and sinker. Um, and this fork in the road makes me feel stuck energy. Stuck energy. Like you, you waited for somebody to reveal their true intentions. But with the flexibility or flexible, it's like the wind didn't break you, the storm didn't break you. It's like you've been through something. I want to know what this all that glitters is. I'm supposed to be doing this in the extended. <laughs> what is this all that glitters? What is this past energy of deception? Because I do feel with the goblins that you had some somebody or something that you thought was something and they weren't. Or maybe they were, but they just didn't want to show their true intentions. The golden mirror. Self-absorbed narcissist. One-sided relationships. Love bombing. Yeah. Yes. Is that, is that, what do I need to know about that? Is that cleared? Is that gone? Is that changing? Is it over? What's going on with that? Ooh, ooh, wait. What's going on with this past energy? Ooh. Oh, ouch. I felt that one right in the heart. Twin flames. That's why it's the golden mirror. See your twin <laughs> mirrors back to you what you believe about life, what you believe about you, what you believe. Look, and there's the mirror. Mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds. Ugh, 
heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning, clock, needs time, takes time, in time, cycles, time to heal, then progress. So if you resonate with the twin flame journey, you don't have to, but if you do, then I would say that your person breadcrumbed you because internally you believe that's all you are worth. And it was past wounds, right? Past wounds. Our twins come in and they reflect to us our past wounds so that we can clear and heal and bring it up for clearing. So this, this has probably been a tough journey, right? That's why that emperor is there probably too. So um, financially, something is about to really, you're stuck energy is moving forward. And I think the reason why is because you're moving forward. I, with the chariot in both decks on the bottom, I think you're just not sitting around waiting in stuck energy anymore. Um, we'll have to look in the extended at what this person, because twin flames don't usually go away <laughs> until you've done all the work and then you guys get to choose if you want them in your future or not. Uh, but I will in the extended take a look at that energy in case that resonates with you. If it doesn't, then you're definitely, you've been going through something that has shown you your true self, mirrored to you, your belief systems, your lack of faith in yourself. Because with the high priestess and the page or the ace of cups, this is, you know, you didn't have a lot of self-love. You didn't trust yourself is what I'm hearing. You didn't trust your intuition. You made some bad choices in love and probably finances too. And those bad choices created something within you or you made the bad choices because of something that was created within you as a child. But April, things are changing. Your friends are going to help you. You're going to overcome obstacles. Stuck energy is moving. The storm didn't break you. You're facing a crossroads, a fork in the road, and you're choosing to move forward. You're not staying stagnant anymore. You're moving forward. I see it. And what you don't see is that because of your hard work, the fates are here. And they're going to bring you something. I don't know what it is, but could be your twin flame coming back with that Knight of Cups energy and Emperor. Or it could be a leveling. I feel like you're leveling up all over the place is what it feels like. So I'm going to take this over into the extent and we're going to pick this apart, okay? Okay. So uh, just know that in the month of April, something's brewing that you don't see. But I think you feel it. And I think you've been asking for it. And it does have to do with balancing the scales, right? Going from breadcrumbing to full-on justice. Moving forward towards your dreams. Destiny. Look, you've got the fates. And you've got the Wheel of Fortune. And with the death card, there's transformation, especially if you're in a twin flame thing. There's always transformation. Now, if you don't believe in twin flames or if you don't resonate with twin flames, then this could just be some past, somebody in your past that was a very karmic catalyst for your awakening and growth. And mirrored back to you a lot of those beliefs that were not healthy so that you could see them and free yourself. 
which is the beauty of these divine counterparts is they really do liberate and free us. Uh, sometimes it's painful because we have to free ourselves from them to free ourselves from ourselves, because they are us. They're our mirror. It's, you know, one soul, two bodies. Yin yang. So I'm going to take this over. I just, I guess the biggest thing I want to tell you is that change and forward movement is absolutely coming. And be open, be flexible, be strong, know your self-worth, trust your intuition. Let your friends help you. You've learned a lot of lessons. You've transformed. But I don't think it was easy. <laughs> so, but no place like home. A lot of times for me, that is a twin card in this deck because, you know, that's what twins feel like us to us. They feel like home. And the reason why is because we, we have the same vibration. We have the same core essence, share the same heart song. So I will take this over and we'll pick it apart. But just know that this person, you do have a secret admirer, whether that's somebody that you don't see coming in because maybe you walked away from this, you know, maybe you're moving forward and, you know, another day, another time, maybe uh, having the strength to, to make choices that maybe you didn't want to make, but you were kind of guided to make. And so there could be somebody else coming in for you to, to help you along on your journey. And for others of you, this is this person returning. But changed. Okay, so good luck. Holy crap. I know this energy only too well. <laughs> Can I just, Spirit, I know I'm, I'm doing too much over here. But I just want to know, what's the shadow here? for my viewers person what's my viewers person shadow currently what is their biggest obstacle their shadow currently resentful see envious and resentful thinking or think loving thoughts for the person or yourself that you resent it's restricting your emotional happiness what about my viewer what is my viewer's biggest obstacle when it comes to this, what is my viewer's biggest obstacle? Shadow work. Oh, well, you got two. We have suspiciousness is a quality of distrust and disbelief. Give yourself reasons why you feel this. And we have narrow minded. You have a limited outlook or perspective or thoughts. What makes you think thoughts are solid gold? That could be that everything that glitters. Maybe what you're thinking is deceiving you. I don't know. There you have it. Let's take it over to the extended. If you decide to follow me over there, thank you. Thank you. If this is where we part ways, I will see you next month and we'll see, you know, how this manifests. Okay. I love you guys. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Okay. Um, like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff because it definitely helps the channel and I would be forever grateful. If you'd like your own personal private reading, everything you need is in the description box below. Okay. Namaste.